Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to look at the R6 and the video quality and the video work that I did with it when I rented it a couple of weeks ago. These projects, there's two of them, were called a blind photo day. Photographer Will Utley, who's a friend of mine, had engineered this with his coordinator, Erica. They screened applicants and paired them up for a blind date. Now, part of this was the agreement that it was a photo session as well. So they, the couple would meet each other, stand back to back, and then they would turn around slowly and the photographer would coach them and they would stop for photos. But then there would be a romantic uh, picnic at the beach. This was at Belmont Pier in Long Beach. And so I was there to document the behind the scenes to get video so that we could help bring this idea to life so that we could use these videos and photos to advertise future blind photo dates. All right, so without any further ado, let's jump in. I really wanted to showcase the 4K on the, the R6 and the 120 frames per second. So I knew going in that there was gonna be some dramatic moments, but I wanted to use the 120 frames per second to stretch those moments in editing to showcase what was happening during the blind photo date. And I knew I wanted to use 4K to really maximize the potential, the image quality that I was gonna get from the R6. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into the first part of the first promo video that I edited. And what you'll see in this is there's about 10 video clips spliced together with some photos from Will. After viewing the first part, we'll pause and kind of talk through what happened in the second part. All right, let's roll the tape. All right, editing Wes here. Like I say in every video, you're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, I really mean that. I think you're the best. Let's get back into the video. some slow motion to kind of draw out the tension of them meeting each other. Um, we have them by themselves and then spliced back and forth, them kind of coming towards the camera. And then we all, of course have them a meeting. Now the photos from Will are outstanding. He's a master, world-class photographer, and those photos are amazing to tell the story. Now we're gonna pause right there. In the first part, I wanna focus on the characters and draw the attention towards the real dynamic of these are two people meeting for the first time. But in the second part, I wanted to highlight some of the, the frills and the details that um, Will and Erica had put into the event. So you'll see some detail shots, you'll see some pulled focus from detail to, to the people. There's a short time lapse. So the time lapse of the sunset is actually 4K on the EOS R, not the R6. And um, at the very end, there's a little, you'll notice throughout there's a little bit of sound design with the, the sounds of the ocean, etc. Let's take a listen. All right, so we used a little bit of wild sound there at the end. You can actually hear Will, the photographer, coaching them. All right, turn around slowly. And so this captured the, the magic of this event. I think uh, Erica, Will, and I at the end were, were stunned and just kind of uh, amazed at the chemistry we saw unfold before us. I hope the R6 captured that. If, if it didn't, it's a lack of skill on my part because there was a real kind of romantic vibe happening. Uh, with the couple. Now for the second day, which was the very next day, so I actually went home, edited this, and then I approached the next day a little bit differently because uh, the couple was a bit younger, they had a different vibe, and um, so I wanted to capture that, but also we were gonna be indoors, so I knew I could get some interview uh, dialogue uh, for some voiceover, uh, which was really challenging at the beach. Um, I got some of it, but not enough from both of the couples 
to really make it work. So in the second setting, uh, we did an a interview beforehand, uh, before they met each other, and then we did interviews after. And that was, that was really cool. So in this, what you're gonna see is similar. The couple by themselves kind of going back and forth between the couples. But I, again, relied on the slow-mo because I saw how well it worked. But I wanted to try something different this time. So what I did is I did more following and pulling away shots because the autofocus was really strong when I was using the 120 frames per second. And I should note, those clips are 1080p, right? The R6 does 120 frames per second, but at 1080p, so this is scaled up to 4K. So notice how, how good it holds up. This is 10-bit C-Log. And um, so let's watch the first part where we see the two personalities introduced. each edit I definitely wanted a first half and a second half so you can kind of feel a transition or a change because the couples are meeting for the first time and there is a real change so the R6 really helped me capture this but there's a couple important pieces I want you to note in this next clip that we're gonna see and that is I had an EOS R on a slider and so it was capturing just a little bit of movement as the couple uh, relaxed in the studio environment and so I used that to help kind of set the feeling of time progressing and movement. Um, but then Will's photos really helped capture the magic uh, and the joy. Really this couple, um, they had a lot of energy and a lot of good energetic, I said energetic already, uh, a lot of, I'm not gonna say passion, but there was a lot of drama and even tension in their interactions. And it was really cool to see um, overall the date went well and we ended with a cool photo session in front of kind of a white photo uh, background and then Will did some amazing uh, black and white edits and so I dropped those in but you'll also notice a choice I had uh, in the interview I had uh, the the woman on the date and then uh, I had the man on the date and actually where we did the interview with the woman didn't work that well visually so I just used her voiceover with the scenes of them getting to know each other and then I saw ended on uh, the, the man's interview out on the street. Now this was a terrible location, very dark, and I had to bump the ISO way up. But you'll see how well the R6 does in that environment. And of course the lights in the background look cool and the bokeh looks cool as well. Um, but the uh, we had the road go wireless on uh, him, so the sound was was pretty good. I was pleased with that. That's a standby piece of equipment that I use. So if you want to check that out, there should be a link below the video for the microphones that we use for the interviews. And uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy part two of the second blind photo date. This has been a really good journey for me. Um, I'm stepping out of my shell. I'm trying new things. This is definitely out of the ordinary for me. I've never done anything like this. I'm normally really in my shell, but this experience has allowed me to get out and just grow and expand and live my life. So I definitely enjoyed it. I'd say the biggest takeaway from this evening would be the fact that I learned that it's okay to try new things again. You know, if it don't work out the first time, just try something else. Look to explore yourself more. Looking for new experiences and kind of bring out a newer side of you that you didn't know existed. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you saw the strengths of the 4K and the 120 frames per second. Even in 1080p scaled up to 4K, it really holds its own uh, of the Canon R6. So I enjoyed filming these. They were great, um, real authentic moments where we captured people getting to know each other. Um, and it, it, was, it was very cool to be a part of that. So thank you to Will Utley. I'm gonna leave details of the studio, which is in Inglewood uh, below the video. So you can check that out if you're local and you wanna rent that. Uh, you can you can definitely do that but I'll see you in the next video all right bye